Hi, and welcome to Dent Wizard Tech Tips. Today, we'll be showing you how to use the HU100 Lishi for GM Laser Track. First thing, put light pressure with your thumb when picking. I'm picking this counterclockwise. They tend to pick easier that way. Now, when picking these, search for bound tumblers. Bound tumblers are the ones that need to be picked. If it's bouncy, keep going on. Like seven here. At least a little bit of a pressure and pick it over. Six is good. Four needs to be picked. Add a little bit of pressure. It's picked. How you, how you know if it's picked is if it bounces roughly a full depth, so a full box. Seven's good. It's good. Six is good. Four. Two has half a bounce. But you see how I'm putting a lot of pressure on this? This is something you're not supposed to do. All I needed to do was add a little bit more pressure to turn the lock. The lock was picked, but because I was using such light pressure, it didn't just flow over. All I had to do was add a little bit of pressure with my thumb and the lock rolled. These aren't too bad to pick. You can overpick them if you use too much pressure. Which is why I tend to use very, very light pressure like how I showed with this. Always remember pull the arms and then pull the leash out. Review and tips. This is going to be a long one, but bear with me. Use light turning pressure with your thumb. If your thumb is starting to hurt or your wrist is starting to hurt, you're using way too much pressure. Two, try picking counterclockwise. I have found this to be the easiest way to pick these locks over. Three, again, light picking pressure. If it's getting hard to push, ease up on the tension a little bit and it'll pick very simple, very easily. Four, if you're getting no feedback in the lock, you use light WD-40. Five, GM Max system applies for this except for the last two tumblers. The Max system is GMs have a max of two meaning a 1 cannot be next to a 4, a 5 cannot be next to a 1. The max space the depths can be is 1 and 3, 3 and 5, 2 and 4, except for the last two tumblers on this. A 4 can be next to a 1 and a 1 can be next to a 4. Programming tips. Pre-2015, if you can't get to program with your T-code, what you can do is turn the key in the ignition on for 10 minutes. Turn it off, turn it on for another 10 minutes. Turn it off, and the third time I do 11 minutes. Normally after that, the key's programmed, wham bam, it's done. If it's a prox model, turn the key in the door six times to unlock very quickly and the prompt will show up on the dashboard letting you know that to start the programming procedure. Post 2015 some of the cars require two keys. It's basically the same thing with six times in the door lock if it's prox but it'll want two keys, it'll want two prox keys. So something you can do is program the one prox key, take it out, and put in a GM96 like a miscut or something. Hold it up and it'll accept that key as a second prox closing the programming process. If that isn't done, the programming process will indefinitely stay on 
and it'll start for a little while and then boom just it'll not start anymore and kick it straight back into programming also to close out the programming for a prox model hold the start button for 15 seconds until the dash turns off this will exit it out of programming mode I hope this was helpful. I know this review was a little long, but you know, I hope this really helps guys. You guys take it easy and you guys have a great day.